Hi guys, it's Mary and I'm back again with another video for you guys. This time, it, my 2019 bullet journal setup for my boyfriend, G10. So, and, and if you guys haven't checked him out already, be sure to check him out. I'll leave him in the cards and in the description box down below so you guys can check him out. Check him out. Jeez, I cannot talk today. Anyways, so this is the Le Gnome. Lenome? Lino? Lenome notebook I ordered off of Amazon. Again, like I mentioned with my all my other previous plan with me's, this is just uh, as much of a plan with me as any other. I will leave everything in the description box below and also on screen so you guys can reference. So right now I am unboxing for you guys the package that I got it in from Amazon and struggling apparently very hard but I also didn't try to like force it because I didn't want to destroy the cover because the cover is super nice when I saw it off of Amazon and I knew that Gio would really like it so there's that so this is the cover it's very very nice I know they have other covers too I don't remember off the top of my head besides the wood one so you guys can see for yourselves when you click in the description box below. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag wish I was sponsored. Anyway. So back to the unboxing. I'm flipping back through flipping back to the back of the journal where I found these nice tabs and also a refund warranty card. With the tab, I also, or with the tabs, they're, they seem to be on the glossier side, so you might have to use some type of Sharpie to do that, or to write on it to make sure that it's legible. It has a nice pocket, a little bit smaller than the Leuchtturm that I have. It has a, an elastic band like the Leuchtturm. The only difference is that you have a pen loop, whereas the Leuchtturm, you don't have the pen loop, and you also have one bookmark in the Lenome as opposed to Leuchtturm's double nope or double bookmark in their journals. The paper is a lot thicker than the other or the Lenome paper is a lot more thicker GSM wise or grams per square inch or per square meter I'm sorry as opposed to Leuchtturm. Leuchtturm's. So getting back into the swing of things this is the first spreads that I'm going to be setting up in Geo's bullet journal because he recently got into bullet journaling. And by recently, I mean like a few months ago, like I guess half, half a year ago, so six months ago. And he apparently likes bullet journaling now, so I thought this would be a great idea to do this for him. So yeah, so the first page that I put in his journal is a measurements page so that he knows the dimensions. I got this idea off of him, off of Amanda Rach Lee and I also did the future or er, year at a glance so then he knows what date belongs to which day of the or er, day of the week and so on and so forth. Here we have the future log. So this is essentially a big overlook of the year in month form but being able to have enough room to write date important dates down like appointments anniversaries stuff like that and then here we have the password bank so he can write down whatever passwords he can't remember so then he has a running list of them and then I have a books to read for him because he had stated that he wanted to get more into reading so I have that for him. And if you guys see me speeding through a lot of this, and it, it is because I don't want to take a lot of your guys' time and I want to get through my creative process as quickly as possible without trying to bore you guys to tears. And then here we have the wish list. So anything that he desires, he will put that there. Here's the school brain dump. I left it blank because anything that he wants, any information he wants to put down relating to school as 
in terms of like scholarships and stuff like that, he can put that in there. Here we have the professor's corner. So I took this page from my back to school themes video. If you guys haven't checked that out, I will leave that in the cards and also in the description box below. So you guys can check that out if you haven't already did or if you have if you haven't already done so. I'm so sorry. My words are a whole bunch of gibberish today. But essentially the professor's corner is used to log in all of the information you have for each class so it can help you out and it will be all collectively put into one page, which is super nice. I found this super helpful for me, so I thought this would be a great idea for him as well. Um, so I'm just finishing up the boxes. I realize I put too many, but who knows, he might end up using all of them, I don't know. It, but it's better to have too much than to have too little, right? I don't really know what else I can say for the professor's corner other than that it's a information collector for each class is the summarized way of putting it. And then we have the graduation plan. It's a plan that you keeps you on track to do a whole bunch of classes and graduate on time. So basically this will be a I guess you can kind of think of it as a tracker to keep you on track for graduation. And I hopefully put enough boxes down. It's like two and a half years that he has left before he graduates. So yeah. And this is specific for a five semester class and the last box is for four classes, I believe. And I'll definitely put the dimensions for all these spreads on screen because I don't remember off the top of my head. And then we're heading over to the January plan with me slash boyfriend. So if you haven't, or if you couldn't tell already, this is a theme based around Pokemon. So I tried really hard to look up the- I looked up the Pokemon font and did my best to recreate it free-handedly because I wanted to try to keep with the theme of Pokemon. And then I, ha I drew his fa one of his favorite Pokemon, or his favorite Pokemon, which is Charmander. I don't think I did a great job drawing him, but I did my best with him. So yeah, you're going to be seeing a whole lot of just Pokemon throughout January, obviously. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on going and I don't know why this took so long to do, but yeah. Moving onward to the mood tracker. If you guys cannot tell already, and I probably- and I already used that phrase, I don't know why I said it again. But this tracker is based off of the Pokeballs in Pokemon, if you guys don't know. You use the Pokeballs to catch or capture the monsters that you're trying to get and kind of keep in your collection. So my one regret is that I didn't put the days of the month, but he, he said that he could do it himself, so I don't have that many worries about that. And then I did the habits tracker. I did leave it blank in terms of um, the types of habits because I don't know which ones he wanted to track. So hence I left it blank. I just put in the dots and the days of the month. And then going on to the semester at a glance. This is a future log, but in school form, I guess, or in college form, you can use it. As a college student, as a high school student, heck, you could even probably use it for, for even middle schoolers too. You would just probably, because I guess middle school normally goes on trimesters instead of semesters or quarters, so I have to plan accordingly to that, but I wanted to incorporate this semester at a glance for him so then he can write down all of his important dates, like 
assignments that are due, big projects that are um, going to be due, lab reports that are due, anything of that sort, and also breaks as well, so then he knows and can plan ahead for that. And it's pretty self-explanatory, it's just like a future log, except it's shortened down for a semester. I really was frustrated with this, uh, with that um, spread because it spilled over and it only spilled over one month. So I was like, what? So I had a whole bunch of space left. So instead of just leaving it blank, I turned it into a notes section that he could have. So anything that he needs to jot down in terms of dates that he can't just reorganize in the semester at a glance, then he could just leave it there and then he can put those dates in whichever month that it corresponds to. And then I used the little pokeballs to keep with the theme. I didn't want to rewrite notes in the full Pokemon font again because I'm gonna have to be doing that a lot. Then over here we have the January plan with me sp Sorry. I accidentally burped. Excuse me. But we're doing the January spread right now. So, or the January monthly spread. It's very similar to my other monthly spreads where I'm using a 5x5 dimension for each day. And I use a ruler, a, st a Stadler stainless steel ruler because it was a lot bigger and I wanted to have everything in one go. This page also frustrated me because I didn't have enough, or it didn't align with each other, as you can see. But yeah, it's okay. I went with it. And then here is the weekly spread. So this was kind of a tedious spread even though it was just the font and I didn't do anything other than that and color it in. So I divided each week up into a section for events and for assignments that might be due and then the other side which is the bottom side the bigger side is for tasks that he needs to do so that is basically it for the january plan with me for my boyfriend's bullet journal so as you can see the completed january title page the mood tracker the habits that i left blank I did leave the pencil marks in so then he knows that he needs to draw a picture that represents his, the habit that he's tracking for the month. And then we have the semester at a glance. I used various colors in terms of representing the different types of Pokemon that there are in the game. And same thing with the January monthly spread. I'm sorry if you guys see the fluffy bathrobe. I showered right before I filmed this portion of the thing and then here I have the weeklies completely completed spreads and that is basically it for my bullet journal setup for Geo's bullet journal for the year of 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did in creating this for him and I also gifted this as a Christmas present even though he also had his birthday like close to Christmas, so I just gave it to him on his birthday. But anyways, all that aside, thank you guys for watching again. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if you liked it, subs if you loved it, loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys!